That's not my intro. Hey guys, the AJ Lemon Studios here, and today um, we're going to be talking about. Thank you to I think it was Maroon Tunes AG. I'll put. I think it was them, and they. I'm leaving around. It. They asked me if I could do a video on scripting, and I said, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. So I'm going to show you today how to write an American Girl series, and I don't think this is on, right? <laughs> anyway, oh shoot. That's what you get for buying something for 99 cents on eBay. In no way am I saying that I am the ultimate authority on these things, because I'm not. This is an unrelated point, but I want to do it on camera, because I impulse bought this little dolly here. And I don't know, you're going to find out who I impulse bought. You guys don't care about this at all, because you probably searched how to make an American Girl series, and this came up, and you're watching me unbox it all. Oh, there's... <laughs> Tissue paper. That was anti-climactic. Yay! Oh, 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 there. This is the doll I bought. Oh, hello. She has so much hair and it's so pretty. She's so pretty and she's mine. Yay, Kanani. The light is continuing to move closer and closer to my face. First of all, I've already talked about how I'm not the penultimate series writer. So I'm not the penultimate series writer. If you're looking for ideas, if you're looking for the secret hack of how to come up with a series idea, there is no secret hack. It just kind of comes. Like, all of my series have just come. You know, I don't like have a process is what I'm saying. I don't have a process for making series. I coming up with them. I have a process for making them. I don't have a process for coming up with them. They just kind of come to me and I'm like, that would make a good series. So that's what I'm, that's how I come up with series. And I'll tell you how I come up, how I've come up with, um, my two series. Spell River was based on a video game. It's like basically fan fiction of this video game, except like the name has changed. And, um, The Escape Artist is based on Japanese internment camps. They took a test. I'm sure you all know the story by now. Um, if you need to know the story, I'll link one of the many videos I've mentioned it in. <laughs> Character and world building. So, again, I'm gonna say I don't have a process. I, a lot of these things just kind of evolve with time, but when you start a series, you need to have characters who are mildly developed, and you have to have a world that is mildly developed. It's not like I went into- The Escape Artist is my prime example here, because it's the more recent one, it's the more complex one, that I really had to come up with the whole world of it. Um, the escape artists, I had three characters that were like completely developed and I had other characters that we were going to find out their backstories and both of those are fine tactics but you got to have like at least your main character we know like where they're coming from even if they, if they don't know where they're coming from and we'll find out with them that's a really good idea. And then there's the factor of the world like Spell River, the world was this video game um, Magic Academy. Again, I'll link videos down below for both character and world building because like there have been some great videos. I watch a lot of writing YouTube. You have to have some semblance of a world and an idea and characters before you jump into writing and filming a series. It's not a very complicated process. It's just if you want the series, you want to make the series, you gotta write it, write it down first or you gotta have an idea. You have at least the first season or so plotted out for you. Okay, this is the program I use. It's called Celtics. It's free on the internet, but I haven't used the one on the internet for a year or so because I bought I bought the Mac version of it, which is just a downloadable. Like it's twenty bucks. It's a good program. I don't advise you to buy, go out and say, oh she uses it, then I have to buy it. Don't go on the website, try it out, use it for a while. It's pretty like it's not exactly. They've changed it a lot over the years. Like they've made it a lot less free, understandably. Create screenplay and create the screenplay and it's gonna work. This is a screenplay. We're going to start by rewriting the first scene of my series, which was... Charles goes down and ends battle. So notice how the first word I've done is int, that stands for interior. If this was outside, we would say ext, which means exterior. 
This is just screenwriting mumbo jumbo. Wombology? The study of wombo? Um, so we have interior dining room day, so that's what that means. Alyssa Porter, Alyssa Grace Porter. I'm already forgetting her name. That's the opening shot of this this ser that series. So I just have written out what I want to do. So we're gonna do Mrs. Porter, who conveniently says for the audience to understand Alessa, and this wakes Alessa stirs. And this wakes her up. So what did I just do? I didn't explain myself. So in this program, you just have to press tab, and then it's gonna make you into a character. If Alessa wasn't actually talking, I would do um, parentheses voice voiceover, which VO, which means voiceover. If Sorry, she were, I don't know that. If she was off stage or off screen, I would write OS. And if she wasn't actually on the screen talking, if it's like really like an extreme emotion or it's something that I really want to like convey, I'll write like um, startled. So she's startled, and she says, "Father Charles goes down and ends battle." So that's that's basic that's basic screenwriting. Let me show you the other ones. This isn't really conducive to the script to this. Um, specific play, but we've got um, transition, which is basically that's really what it is for. And you might be you might want um, cut two, and that that's if it's like a sudden cut. You're not really supposed to do this after every scene. So if I needed to do a close up, or if I needed to do um, there's one scene that I plan to do that's through the door, the door, and then we see Alessa. So she's through the door. The lighting is so bad. So that's really the basics of like just formatting of screenplay. I don't really do this anymore. I usually, if I'm gonna write it, like really write a script, then I would just open Caltex. But if I don't want to do that, then I'm gonna write. This is what I used to do. Um, I did this for a few seasons, but Alyssa lays asleep on dining table, her head in music books. And then I would just do, and then I would say, Mrs. Porter enters. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. This line is significantly less funny now. <laughs> so that's what I used to do, and I'm not really gonna go into much like formatting detail, but this is really just um, like saying a lesson lays asleep. Like this is back spell river, like first season days. I would write down like a summary of the like a literal summary of the episode, like I'd just say episode one of the escape, let's, we're gonna continue using the escape artist, but this is back, I, I never did this for the escape artist. Artists, if I could spell it right. Um, but I'd say Alessa is woken up by her mother and is late to school. Like Randy Kenzie, her best friends, but they seem to have something to hide. And I would like improv like this, these whole scenes. They are waiting to take their readiness exam tomorrow. And they seem nervous. Alessa studies for her readiness. A Princeton itself. University study found that women from a range of linguistic backgrounds use a similar timbre when speaking to infants. What? The findings suggest the universal form of communication helps babies learn this. to differentiate and direct their attention to their mother's voice. What? Alexa? What did I just ask you? Sorry, I don't know that. Testing room. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what happens in this episode. They go inside, the teacher explains readiness to them and the audience. And Mackenzie asks, what happens if they fail? This is, like, if there was something, like, really important that happened, the teacher ignores her and tells her that she shouldn't end up like those, I don't know what she said, magicians probably, I don't know. Alessa gets her testing sheet, and instead of bubbles, it says, good luck with this savior. Spoiler alert for the first episode of my series. Click the link in the card. I will link the, the playlist of the series if that little synopsis hooked you. That's what I used to do for Spellwork for the first couple seasons, I think. And then I switched over to really scripting. And this, if this works for you, then do it. Because it's, one, really simple, and you get, like, the basis of your story out. And two, props to you for being able to improv a whole episode. Please don't crash. Thank you. Scripting is an art form. You, It's not something that you are miraculously, that watching this video will make you a genius at. I had a phone. I had a phone at one point in my life. The most important thing, at least for me, in watching a series, story-wise, is that the characters and the world that I can figure out what the world is in the first episode or two? Because if it's if I can't, then I'm gonna stop watching. Like I barely watch any series because this test for me it fails so often. The only series I consistently watch is Ag Smiles. I have to really tell this to myself, but it's okay to go into a series not having any clue where it's gonna end up. 
but if I told myself the finale for these skippers two years ago when I had first come up with it, I think I would have said you're crazy. That's not what this series is. And I think I've said I think I said that about um, Spell River too because you start a series and then it might go on for a year, two years, even like these series go on forever. <laughs> I say that like it's a bad thing, but they go on for such a long time that you're going to change as a person, your, your audience is going to change, the people who watch it at the beginning might not actually finish, you're not the same person when you finish that series that you were at the end of it, not because of the series, just because life happens and you change as a person. Like two years ago I thought the escape artist is going to end with this big party and there's going to be like pop music playing, two certain people are going to end up together. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. So, thank you guys so so much for walking, walking. Thank you guys so so much for walking. I said walking again. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like. That would be so great. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. And it's just my soul responding. What's to the heavy heart I'm holding. And it's just my soul